Hey, today I wanna to share with you how I prepare and plant my aquarium plants. But before I get started, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. So whether you buy your plants online or in your local fish store, you're gonna get them in one of two forms. There's the first form, which is potted like this, or there's the second form, which is tissue culture. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to prepare your plants if they're tissue culture and how to prepare your plants if they're in the potted form. We'll go over how to prepare them and then how to plant them afterwards. Now, I wish it was just as easy as taking this pot or tissue culture cup and just plopping it in the tank and letting it do its thing. But unfortunately, it's not that easy. And if you do that, your plant is going to die. Obviously, we don't want that because unfortunately in aquascaping, plants are not cheap. And if your plant dies, then it's basically like throwing away your money. And that's the last thing we want as hobbyists. So let's start with the potted version and then we'll do the same thing and go over the tissue culture as well. So whether you buy your plants online or from a local fish store, chances are the plants are already gonna be acclimated to growing underwater. So they're gonna come in a bag like this to keep them humid and moist. So once you get the plants out of the bag, you're on a time crunch because if these things dry out, they'll die. And that's the last thing you want as a hobbyist. Now when removing the plant out of the bag, I like to cut it and open it from the bottom. If you do it from the top, you risk damaging the leaves. But if you open it from the bottom, you can pull it directly by the pot and the leaves won't be damaged in any way. Now, in order to prepare this properly, you're gonna need a few tools. One being a pair of aquascaping scissors. Any scissors will do, but in this case, if you have aquascaping scissors, just go ahead and use them. The second thing you'll need is a pair of aquascaping tweezers. This will help you grab the plants in spots where your fingers might not be able to reach. And the third thing you need is a baking sheet. Now that you've got the plant out of the bag, it's time to remove the pot. Now there's a right and wrong way to remove this from the pot. The wrong way is to pull from the leaves. This risks breaking the rhizomes and killing the plant. The correct way is to turn the plant on its side, grab your aquascaping tweezers, and push it out gently until it falls out like that. You can take the pot and remove it, put it off to the side and throw it away. Next up, you'll notice the rock wool is split in two. It's super simple, just gently pull the rock wool off and peel the plant off of it. You'll notice there's some extra fluff here, and this is where we can grab our aquascaping tweezers and just very gently pull it off of the rhizome, like so. Just clean this to the best of your abilities. If a little bit is left on there, it's not the end of the world. Now, once you have the plant separated from the rock wall, you'll be able to get several portions off this. And this is where you can just take your fingers and gently break the plants off into chunks, like this. So one simple pot was able to get me one, two, three, four, five, six. Six portions of this job fern. I always like to separate the plants into as many portions as possible. And that way it gives me more versatility when planting and I can cover more space as well. Now the next step you wanna do is to grab your aquascaping scissors and look for any dead or dying leaves on the plant. If there are any, go ahead and trim those off and that will give the plant the best chance of survival and it can grow healthy from the very beginning after you plant it. In this case, there are no dead or dying leaves on this plant. This java fern was very healthy, so I don't need to trim anything off. So that's how you prepare potted plants for your aquarium. Now it's time to dive into the tissue culture plants. Now buying tissue culture plants is my personal favorite way to go in aquascaping. And you may ask, well, why tissue culture? And that's because they're grown in vitro. So they're grown in a lab, 
where there's no possible chance for pests or anything to get on the plants that could infect your aquarium. Tissue culture plants are known to be a little bit more expensive than potted plants, but in my personal experience, you actually get more plants for your money with the tissue culture than you do if you buy a potted plant. Now, whether you buy your plants in tissue culture form or in pots, it's really up to you. Personally, for me, I like to spend the extra couple of dollars to ensure that there's no pests. And like I said, I feel like you just get a little bit more for your money with the tissue culture cups. Now, if you've never seen a tissue culture cup before, there's gel at the bottom, and that's what the plants are grown in. It's a very nutrient dense gel that the plants can feed on, and then being grown in the lab as well, they're under high lighting, which gives them optimal growth opportunities. The gel is completely harmless to your aquarium and the inhabitants in it, but if you plant these with the gel on the roots, it just looks unsightly and it will stick to your aqua soil and just, it's just a mess. Luckily, there's a very easy way to get that gel off, and that's just to grab a dish full of warm water. It can be straight from your tap, and then you're simply gonna open up the tissue culture cup and dip it in that gel till it all falls off. You can use your aquascaping tweezers or your fingers to kind of work that gel off as well, but the warm water should dissolve it instantly. Okay, so like I said, you're simply gonna open up the cup and you're gonna pull out the plant from the gel. In this case, it came off super easy. Most of the gel stayed in the cup, which is great, but now you're just gonna dip it and just kind of work it out Make sure there's no gel left in there. Then separate the plants one by one. Make sure they're all nice and clean. And then set them off to the side. In this case, I have a second tissue culture cup. I'm gonna do the same thing, just pop the lid off and then pull these plants out. Here you can see most of the gel came off, but not as easy as the first one. Now, once you've got all the plants taken out of the hot water, it's time to separate them. And just like we did with the java fern, we're just gonna kind of break the stems apart. In this case, it's grass. So we're just gonna take smaller portions and lay them out one by one so that it's easy to plant. You can separate the portions in as large or big of chunks as you desire. There is no right or wrong size to separate these into. So once you've got the plants all prepped and portioned out, it's time to plant them in your tank. Now to actually plant these in your tank, it's very simple. Just grab the aquascaping tweezers, pick out one portion at a time, and firmly press them into the soil. If they do float to the surface, it's not a big deal. Just simply grab them with your tweezers and plant it a little deeper this time. So that's really all there is to it when it comes to preparing and planting your aquarium plants. But as always, if you have any other questions, drop them down in the comments. I'll do my best to respond to them as soon as possible. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and maybe you learned something along the way. I'd love to hear your planting and prepping tips in the comments below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.